Any interesting facts in regards to this project that you didn't state already in this interview or maybe another interview before? Uh, uh -huh. Anything people would find interesting other than what you said already in regards to it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I would just say it like it is. Fuck it. Um, fun fact, I was about to remove one of the songs um, like three days before the project dropped. Um, Benny Game Marco. <laughs> I was going to take that one off the project because we broke up like three days um, before I dropped the mixtape. And I was just like... I don't, I don't, I don't even run that one down. So I didn't want him on my project. Um, but I was like, you know what? Fuck that shit. It's business. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta still keep your mind right. Cause I knew I, it was my song. So I'm like, this shit still fire. Like I know this shit gonna do numbers. So I'm like, fuck the bullshit. They don't even gotta know about that. Keep it on there. Keep it rolling. Like, cause it's still a good song. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't know. They don't gotta know the, the background behind it. Put it on there and roll. And it actually did, like, it did good on the project. It did real good. Uh, did he know what you were going to do with that song since you guys broke up three days before? No, he don't. He he going to watch this interview, and he ain't even going to know that I was about to take it off. I was either going to take him off, take, take the song off completely or just take him off or just, and, like, replace him with another male singer from Atlanta. Or um, just record my own second verse, like had the whole song me. But the song, the shit rolled. I can't. I'm not gonna knock nobody talent. Like nigga did what he had to do on the song. So you know what I'm saying. I kept it on there because I knew the shit was a hit. Fucked all that personal shit. We getting this money and we got the money. Period. But personally, though, you have to hear people. Well, first you have to hear the song, maybe mm -hmm. right when you're mm -hmm. doing your rollouts or mm -hmm. uh, mixtape release parties mm -hmm. or whatever. Or people make give you feedback say hey we really like this song exactly so is that easy or hard to deal with i understand the money part yeah. but is that easy or hard to deal with knowing you broke up with this person yeah um even though you break up with somebody it's like well me personally when i like any relationship not even just with him like any relationship i'm in that don't mean like i hate you like i don't want to see you do good like you know what i'm saying i'm still going okay we did the song because we went together but I still want to see you do good, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I could help you, you could help me. You help me make a cool, super dope song, and I'm going to help you. You know what I'm saying? People are going to listen to the mixtape and not know who he is, so we're going to exchange fan bases, you know what I'm saying? So it was like a win-win. Um, it's, yeah, it's awkward, but it's like, you know, I don't know. It's just a mentality thing. You got to be grown up about some shit sometimes. What was the uh, reaction from him to that song, knowing that you guys had broken up and it's on your your project. Uh huh. Um, I think after it finally came out. Yeah, I think I don't think I don't know. I ain't talked to him about it. I don't know. I don't want to assume like what he think. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't. We ain't talked about it, so I'm sure he was happy that I still put it on the project because it's just more. He's putting his name out there. You know what I'm saying? It's just more. It's just more shit going on for him. So I, I doubt he was mad about it or I'm sure he was happy. What was the feedback from people to the song? Oh, people love this song. Because um, Margot sings, so, and I'm a rapper, but I sing sometimes. So like when we do songs together, I sing and people like, of course, you know, like the boy and girl duo, like mm. song singing, you know what I'm saying? Like that Ashanti and ja, ja Rule, you know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. What is the current status of you and Marco? Um, we we cool. We friends. We cool. We friends. We always gonna be cool. Like I know him since I was like twelve. Oh. Yeah, I've known him for a long time. So and him and my daddy always been cool. But we we, we wasn't dating when I was twelve. <laughs> Let me clear that. We wasn't dating when I was twelve. But we had known each other for a real real long time. So we gonna always be cool. We always be friends. So you were friends first. Yeah, we was, we was friends for a long time. Uh, how long were you actually together as a couple for, though? Um, well, for a couple, we was together like two years. Two years. Yeah, since I was 17. Two years. So, safe to say the breakup was on good terms? 
if you guys are still friends <laughs> today or he an Aries and I'm a Capricorn so like sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but like now that all that like that's all out of the way now we good like we you know like when you first break up with somebody you hate them then then you love them then you hate them now we just we cool we, we friends like I'm glad I put him on the tape you know what I'm saying like, I still want to see him do good is there a chance you could ever get back in a relationship with him? <laughs> you <still. laughs> ah, he's funny. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. God, God knows. What, what. Like right now, I don't want to date nobody. Like I just, I just want to focus on myself. Like, um, this project going crazy. Everything just going up right now. I'm getting calls from all type of people, all type of opportunities. I feel like God, God, God do certain stuff for certain reasons. You know what I'm saying? And he. He is for a reason. You don't, you don't never know what happened in the future, but for right now, I'm focused. What was the actual reason for the breakup? Um, I don't, it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, like them damn Tyler Perry movies like, you cheated on me and it wasn't like that. Like, we just grew apart. Like, you, you know, like when it, it's not the same no more, you know, just, and y'all both, it's not even like, oh, I'm breaking up with you, or you breaking up with me. It's like a mutual understanding. Like, it's like, this shit ain't the same no more. Was there pressure from fans to stay in it? Oh, yeah. The, the fans still be like, girl, why is you with that nigga? I'm, t I'm telling, don't put that nigga on your Insta story. I'm like, first of all, I don't even know this nigga. Like, this is my partner, girl. Chill out. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we was together for two years, so, like, the fans was used to that. And... He had gave me like a different fan base. Like when we was dating, I was 17. So when we first started dating, I was 17. So he gave me like an older fan base, you know what I'm saying? So they was like glued in, like they was, uh, they was used to seeing it. But we, I mean, shit, we still gonna make music. It ain't nothing, like it ain't nothing. Are you uh, done? I mean, you said you aren't dating or anything like that, but no. in the future when you do, uh, you know, enter that world again, no to rappers, singers, recording <laughs> artists? Uh, no, no to rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say no to rappers. No. I like, me being honest, like, shit, that's somebody I can relate to. Anybody, not even just rappers, like singers, whatever. Recording DJs, artists. Whatever, any type of, anybody in the industry, I feel like I can relate to you. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it just what it is. Like we had, we had hella shit. Marco was the first rapper or any anybody that did music that I had ever dated. So, um, I feel like we was together for the time that we was together for that length of time because we had we related to each other. Like, you know. So I'm not gonna say no to another rapper. <laughs> they gonna call me a damn industry hoe. I don't care. There is other music you guys recorded that's never been released. Yeah, we got we got a lot of music um, that we never released. We were together for two years. Was there ever thoughts of a? Uh, I mean, just while you guys were going out and stuff like that, was there ever thoughts on like a, a not a? I don't know. I, I want to say a, a, a duet. Joint, yeah, but a joint, <laughs> a joint project. project. Yeah. Okay, so this was so funny. I dropped Mulatto. We broke up three days before I dropped Mulatto, and he had already uh, was going to drop like two weeks after me or something like that. And then, so that was um, for July. Then we was going to drop one in like August, September -ish together. But we didn't know because oh. we, we hated each other. <laughs> I see. But maybe we'll do it now. I don't know. I don't know. Or next Valentine's Day. Stop playing with me, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We w we was gonna do that though, cause anytime we do we do music together, it go crazy. But I think I don't think it's specifically Marco though, or and Marco. I don't think it's specifically me. I think it's just like the girl and the boy, like especially a girl rapper, boy singer. It's just so odd, unique. You know what I'm saying? And everybody wanna rap so hardcore now. It's like people don't even wanna sing about love no more. Now, my last question to you is this. Uh, you did post a picture uh -huh. with Quando <laughs> Rondo. <laughs> yeah. And you were sitting on his lap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, shout out to Quando. Like, people was, I knew how they was going to take it, so let me not act dumbfounded. Like, I knew what I was doing when I posted it. Petty? Um, yeah, I was being petty. Um, but it really, like, I'm a business. Let me tell you, I'm a Capricorn, like, 
if you meet me in person, you will know I'm a fucking Capricorn. Like, we are business-minded people. So, yeah, like, I knew they was going to be talking like, oh, shit. Da, da, da. But me, if you notice, that picture dropped at, like, 6 p.m. At midnight, I dropped my mixtape. So, with me, it's like everything is it's, it's more about business. I don't know. I have this, like... I got this this gift to where I can like stay out of my feelings and focus on the bag. Like that shit never been hard for me. Like um, that shit never been hard for me. So I was like, shit, I don't really care like what it what it causes on the internet. I want it to cause that because I got a mixtape dropping at midnight. But um, the backstory behind that whole situation with me and Quando Rondo. I really don't even know him like that, if you want to be honest. Like, I don't even have his phone number, nothing. Like, I don't know him like that. I mean, we cool. Like, we cool. I don't know him like that, though. Uh, I think he even got a girlfriend. Like, what? Like, <laughs> we ain't have nothing going on. Um, we have the same stylist, Super Dope Q. So I was on set with Q, and Q had to deliver, like, some clothes to him. So they just met because we was on set. So they just met, and we met each other. He came to my photo mm. shoot. So that's how that happened. And it was like five minutes. Like we was like, oh, oh, what's up? Well, I know you. Da, da. Let's take a picture for the gram. And was, you decided to sit on his lap for the picture. Of course. T <laughs> <laughs> e T Y. Yes, sir. Yeah. I saw, if I'm not mistaken, I think he reposted that picture on his profile uh -huh. also. Yeah, he had posted it too. Oh, yeah, this is funny too. Let's talk about this because Devo's Instagram is so funny. Like, they was like, because um, he had posted it, then, well, first the stylist posted it, then he posted it, then I posted it. And he had deleted it. Um, yes, I saw that. Yeah, he had deleted it. And I had called him and was like, through my, on my style, I was like, Q, call him. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why he deleted my picture. Um, and he had told me, I'm not going to say, like, what the reason was, but um, he had told me why he deleted and I was like, shit, all right, cool. So, like, and that was the end of the situation. Everybody coming under my shit tomorrow. Um, Girl, you need to delete him. He don't got you on his page. Or I'm like, it's not that serious. Like, this is not my man. Like, what are y'all talking about? If I want to post something on my page and I'm going to leave it up, like, y'all crazy. But, yeah, they was telling me to delete it because he deleted it as if that was my man or something. Hmm. <laughs> no. So just for the record, not true. No, not true. I, we never like we never even spoke after that. Like whatever. And the picture is still on your Instagram of people. Yeah, it's haven't seen. And if I have an, another boyfriend, it's still gonna be on my Instagram. Like I might repost it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> say yes, sir. 